YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to mount Azure Blob containers into your local Windows system. In my previous videos, I would show you how to mount Azure file shares into your local Windows system, even with TCP port 445 blocked by your ISP. Azure Blob containers will not have in this TCP port 445 issue, but you are not able to directly mount Blob containers into your local Windows system. I will show you an easy way to do that, which is much convenient than using storage browser to manage your Azure containers files. We can use Windows File System File Explorer to directly manage your blob storage containers files. Let's start working on it. To mount blob storage to your local Windows, there are a couple of steps we need to follow. There are some prerequisites which I put here. Also, five steps to mount the blob to your local Windows folder. So we're gonna follow those steps one by one. I'm gonna walk you through them, and you will find it pretty easy to do. First thing, we of course we're gonna create our storage account in the container. So while we are waiting the storage account to be created, we can uh, work on the, the third prerequisite, which is install a Windows package management program called Chocolate E. I'm using Windows 10 in my VMware workstation for testing purpose. You can search Chocolate E install, which will bring you to chocolatey.org install page. You need to verify your execution policy. So what we can do is we can quickly copy them and run it from your PowerShell command with the administrator privilege. Set up policy, then copy this PowerShell command and you can easily install chocolate tea into your environment, which will be used to install all other required software like Arclon, WinFSP, and NSSM. Our storage account has been created. Go to resource. We're going to create a container here. Let's call it test. Rob one. So at this moment, our test blob one is empty here. We need to put test mount one blob our storage account name here for our next step. Just when we need it, we can directly copy it from our notepad to the configuration page and we need also need storage account access key which you can find from access key page copy any one of them keys again those key and account name storage account name will be used in our configuration so I'm just copying here to make our life easier in next steps. The third prerequisite already been completed. We installed it into our VMware workstation. Now we're gonna follow next five steps to complete the list mounting blob to local Windows folder lab. First thing we need to install our Chrome. That's simple with 
chocolate tea. All the software we needed will be using chocolate tea to install. We have three software we will need it to be installed. Our Chrome is the first one. We also need the Windows FSP and NSSM. Um, we're gonna start to configure our Chrome. Our Chrome config. We're gonna need a new remote. We set the name as Blob. Um, we can um, use 26 Microsoft Azure Blob storage as our cloud storage. So we need an account. We need a storage account name. Of course, we already have it. Create one called Test Mount One Blob for Service Principal File. Press Enter. Now we need key. Other settings gonna be the default one. Uh, we don't need to add it advanced config. So let's do no. And yes, this is okay. We save it and quit from here. So the configuration has been completed. Just need the two parameters. One is storage account name, one is access key. Now we need to verify if our Chrome is able to see this blob containers folder. So we use command uh, Chrome LSD blob. So yes, able to see the container test blob one on the storage account. Great, that means our configuration is good to go. So now we need to mount it. Before we can mount it, as we can see from the steps, we need to install WinFSP, Windows File System Proxy. To install it, same thing, chocolatey install. A couple of seconds, this software is going to be installed. After that, we're going to use command to mount it. So now we're going to use R Chrome mount command to mount this test probable one container into local folder. So local folder, let's let's put them new folder called blob one. So the service R clone has been started. So we can verify that. We should have a new folder on the C drive called blob1. As you can see, blob1 has nothing in it, not a folder, not a file. So we're gonna create a test1 folder, or maybe another one test2 folder. And then go back to our test mount one blob storage account, and we're gonna use in storage browser to see if we can find out those new created folder. So we go to blob container to browse into the new added container test blob one. As you can see right now there's no folders. The reason why because they are not showing those empty folder to you. You have to put something under those test one, test two folder. So to make this more clear, so we're gonna create new file here. So only test one, test one file. So we are creating test one file here. Let's go back, refresh. 
now you are able to see test one. It's magical, but test two is still not showing here. So that's the thing you need to know. Blob storage browser is not showing those empty folder to you. Anyway, so we finish these steps. We mount the blob to local Windows folder. We use the command archron mount to do that. Unfortunately, if we go back here, you can see this is a running status. If you stop this command, the file share will be gone. They will not survive a reboot, unfortunately. So what we can do is we're going to install our third software NSSM, which is a non-sucking service manager to manage to create a new service and manage it for it. To do that, we're going to use in Chalker to install NSSM. You can see all NSM command. We're going to install a new service. We call it blob mount service. It will open an NSSM service installer window. So we're going to put our command, our, our clone command here. We're going to put the startup directory, our clone, and then we're going to use mount blob let's find out the command we used before test blob one c blob mount also we wanted to put the following parameters in as well without that you're gonna have an error when you modify the files or edit the files so let's do install service first. So service blob mount installed successfully. We can verify that by going to services msc. So we have blob mount this service created. So if you're trying to start it, you will see an error message. The reason why is because of the logon account. So we gonna change that. We can change it from here. We're gonna use an um, admin account. Let's uh, stop. And then start it again. Perfect. This time it works well. We also can see the mount. And we also can go into the folder. Test one file. Now we're trying to add it. It won't get the error message. Not like before. Before when we're trying to add it, we get the error message. That's because we didn't put that parameters in. So if you, if you let's go back to here, edit service. You can see these parameters. Once we put it in, you added the file. There was no error message anymore. And the logon, we're gonna use the admin account. So all will be good. And you can reboot your machine and then this mount will be still staying there there won't be an issue we can create another one called test 2 which we created before but couldn't save it because this is empty now we can create another text file called test 2 we can add it and there's no error message in this way you can find out if using windows file explorer to manage your blob storage account files folders will be much easier than you use in a web storage browser. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you in this video. 
So let me know how do you think. If you find my video has some useful information, please give me a thumb up. And also please subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next video.